conversation that I kind of a term that I coined. Sometimes you'll see somebody that's in their late teen years, they're 18, 19 years old. And maybe they laugh really hard and get excited and they turn really red. It goes right down into their neck and their chest. But it's, it's kind of like momentary, maybe five minutes or something. Or again, spicy food, but they don't have all the other issues. The rest of the time their skin is pretty much fine. What they're doing is they're showing signs of vasomotor instability. Hmm. Okay, so rosacea is a disease of vasomotor instability, and it is a chronic inflammatory disorder. Now, it doesn't mean they're necessarily going to get rosacea, but it means that they're probably at greater risk for it because they're showing some of the signs that can lead to eventually having actual rosacea. So, again, these are individuals, they should be wearing a sunscreen, number right. one. <clears throat> By the way, if you have rosacea, you, I don't care if you open the door to pick up the newspaper, you need to be wearing a sunscreen because the sun exposure, any sun exposure is going to exacerbate it. Right. Sunscreen inside your house, sunscreen. So these kids that might be showing some predisposition to that, is it a good idea for them to start doing some preventative besides, um, the sunscreen, is there anything else? Should they start using Rosalie? At well, generally, with a bad age range, their primary concern is acne. Okay. And so if they're using things like BioClear right. and Duality, okay. that also is going to be very helpful over time. Right. Because remember, retinoids correct instructions coming from your DNA. True. That's what you said, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and this is one of those things. If you let it what I've seen for uncared for skin, especially, this is one of those things that just gets um, exacerbated. It seems like it gets worse if there's, if there's, if they just let it go. And I think that's what some people just give up. They said, we don't know what to do. And so they don't do anything because they're so afraid to do anything. But I mean, is well, that true? Know, rosacea is kind of, in some ways, it's mysterious. We don't fully understand it. But what I can tell you is some people start at a um, a less aggressive form of rosacea, and they kind of stay there. It never really progresses. And other people start at, we used to call it stages, like stage one, two, three, four. Now we refer to it as subtypes, but it's basically the same thing. Um, they start maybe at stage three. All of a sudden, hmm, wow. they start at a much more aggressive form of rosacea. So we, we don't know, you know, when it's going to progress and necessarily how it's going to progress. But of course you could be on the best program and really right. something that really manages those issues. Okay, they and have you go in. out and if mm -hmm. you have a really spicy dinner or drink a lot of alcohol, right. you're going to have a flare up. If you don't right. flare up right then, sometimes there's a delay of a day or two. Right. 